Hey everybody, Steve at Cheese Skills, and I just wanted to jump in here on this uh, screen porch conversation and say, personally, I would just use my screen porch library, which I do sell if anybody's interested. Just contact me at chiefskills2019 at Gmail. But the first thing I would do is pick one of these pony walls siding right here, draw it out. I have automatic roofs on, so it'll build a roof. And if we take a look, uh, we have a, well, it looks like it created a balcony because I've been messing with this. But if we open this room right here and we go to general and we create porch deck, uh, you'll have a deck. You know, this, of course, took the roof off. Uh, so to go to the structure tab and turn these on. And with auto roofs on, it'll just generate. And you know, I can click on this wall and create a gable. I have a hotkey for it. So now you might say, well, yeah, but those panels are not the right height. So I, I would just double click here, go to the wall types, change this to 36 inches off floor, then go to the balusters page, subtract 12. And it should look pretty good. There you go. And then I would go back to the floor plan and drag this wall to here. Like here. Also, you can open this and here it's saying use defaults, but let's say you want to draw the newels and you want them black. Just change the color. I have my color set to, to that white, I guess is default, but you can change that like that. These are railing panels. There's nothing magic really about it. And, uh, but it gives you a lot of power. Oh, here we go. I had gable on the end. So we'll put that back. So there's that. And then Kevin, for Kevin's little example, I created a panel just like what he did. And uh, just click and replace from library. You can change the spacing with a click. You can make this 48. Double click. I mean, you can make them whatever you want and they automatically adjust the newels. And then here's the best part, I think, is that you can just get a door out of my library and just pick a screen door right here and plop it in and it's done. And you move it, you want it more towards the corner, everything automatically adjusts and uh, Porch is done. Now, you do have this problem here with the decking. I, I can't solve that. The only way to solve that would be to use a solid like you've done in the past. Uh, you can just take this here and paint this. And uh, on the inside, it looks pretty good, too. And so the other thing is you use that screen material right out of the library. And my screen material, which is made from glass block, looks like this in Vector. Yours kind of looks solid like gray. So uh, this is made from glass block and just changing the dimensions. It's pretty simple. But um, I even include that material with the library if you get it. So uh, I've got all these different doors. I mean, you can stick a door just about anywhere you want. So that is how I do screen porches. And yes, it doesn't frame. So if that's a big deal, um, you will not see framing. So that's the framing view right there. And these are panels, so you don't see any framing. So uh, you like if you turned railing walls off, you probably wouldn't even see. If I turn those off, you just see, a, oh, it does frame. How about that? Oh, that's right. I did use framing material. So uh, you don't see your newels, though. So I don't know if that's a problem. But um, so there you go. That's how I do it. Hope this helps. And again, if you're interested, you guys contact me. I sell that screen porch library. There's over 300 items in it. So chiefskills2019 at gmail.com. Thanks.